Hi, I'm recording this video for one of my A-level electronics students. He was having a problem getting MPLAB X at home. I think he has an Apple Mac. I couldn't advise him on that, I'm afraid. But there is an online version, a cloud-based version of MPLAB. It's called MPLAB Express. So that's what I'm going to quickly show you. It might be useful to him, might be useful to anyone else who maybe can't get MPLAB X installed. OK, so how do you get it? Well, it's easy. Just uh, Google MPLAB Express. There's a link there. I'll probably put that link in the video description. It will take you to this page, which looks pretty much like MPLAB X. When I first did this, down in the bottom right hand corner, there was a prompt to get me to log in. It, I could still use the program without having logged in. Uh, but it said that some features were not available. And I was really struggling because I couldn't find the the run or simulate buttons or debug uh, project button, I should say. Uh, but once I was logged into my microchip account, then that appeared. So I do recommend uh, if you're one of my students, you want to use this, then do uh, register for a free microchip account because then you'll be able to run the simulation. OK, so I'll just very quickly run through setting up a project because it's ever so slightly different from using MPLAB X. So we are just click a new project here. And of course, you could always do file open and open existing project if that's what you got. And so standalone project, that's fine. And then choose a device, pick 16F88 is the one we use. Click Next. Project name, I'll just call it anything. It doesn't really matter. Uh, project 8. And uh, just click Finish. Hopefully this is going to be quick. I've used this just to experiment with just a few times today, and uh, sometimes it seemed a bit laggy, but other times it was very quick. So anyway, we'll see. Now, the, the first issue is that all of my students want to use assembly and not C, but if you click the source files and then right click new file, you'll find that it's set up for a C based project. So that's a programming language known as C. We don't want that. So what you need to do is you can click File, Project Properties, or down here, this is the same thing, so Project Properties. And where in this box at Compile the Toolchain, just make sure you've got the MP Assembler. OK. Now, notice also that there are some other options. If you've got your own Picket 3, I think you would be able to, although I haven't tried it, you would be able to get Picket 3 uh, somehow connected up with this, even though you're cloud-based, but if you choose that option, it says something about a USB bridge. And I haven't tried it, but presumably you've got to install some other software. As I say, not familiar with that, so I'm not going to tell you anything about that for the moment. OK, so click on the OK button. And this time around, we should be able to create a new file that uses Assembler. So yeah, OK, so Assembly Project, I always recommend using a simple one. Click Next. I'm happy with that name for the moment. ASM is the file extension. It's fine. Click Finish. And there we are. OK. Now, if you wanted to run the simulation, you click that. OK. Now, uh, I did this, um, I don't know, five minutes ago, and it just hung for some reason. I've no idea why. So, um, yeah, I really can't say whether it's going to happen again. Uh, but I have tried it a couple of other times and it seemed all right. So let's just try anyway. By the way, you'd, you would obviously need to have more code to make this useful program. Well, it looks like it's, yeah, it's built successfully and it's running. OK, so all of that's OK. And so I hope that if you're one of my students, you should be able to use this if you need to have access to MPLAB. And you can't get MPLAB X, so you can use MPLAB Express instead. OK, hope that's useful. Thanks very much.